Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I, I'm going to introduce how to plot these beautiful DNA and protein sequence logos. Okay. So you will often find this uh, kind of uh, DNA or protein logos in the paper describing a, a motif that is important for DNA binding and uh, for protein function, etc. And in this figure, which, uh, which uh, showed up in one of my paper talking about, uh, uh, talking about uh, CRISPR of target effect. And this logo shows the guide intrinsic effect of sgRNAs that uh, contribute to the high of target effects. Okay. So the upper, so the upper uh, logo means if there, if there are more Gs that uh, the, this uh, sgRNA will more likely cause high of target effects. And the, the, the bottom ones shows the low of target effects for the sgRNA sequence, okay? So how do we make this uh, kind of logo, sequ logo uh, sequence logos? Uh, let's go into the, our topic today. Um, I will mainly talk about uh, a Python package called the logo maker, okay? So first we need to uh, install, it's very easy. Just use pp install logo maker. And I already made, I, I already installed it. So it's already in, uh, satisfied. So if it hadn't, uh, if you hadn't, haven't uh, installed it yet, you just need to uh, install it. So uh, in first scenario, I think uh, the most uh, frequently happen is you have a, a many different uh, DNA sequence that uh, contribute to a certain binding that uh, bind by a certain transcription factor. So you have chip seq data and uh, you get different peaks and you want to uh, get the DNA binding motif. So you have, uh, for example, here at the first, uh, at the first position, there are 80, uh, there are 80, uh, A, uh, 80, uh, 80, A, sequence contains A at the first position and uh, five at the second. And uh, so it, um, so this, we, we can uh, con construct this uh, matrix and uh, the, then we need to uh, calculate the frequency uh, of each amino acid at uh, each position. Okay, so we use this function to calculate its uh, uh, frequency of each uh, nucleotide at each position. And uh, then we can make this, uh, uh, is, make this uh, simple uh, logo, sequence logo with the logo maker and input the data frame and use the classic uh, color scheme is uh, yellow, uh, it's uh, blue, orangey, re uh, red and green, okay. And we can use, uh, we can change the stack order. So either the small on top or big on top, okay. And uh, let's run it. Okay, it's kind of, this kind of uh, uh, sequence logo. So uh, this kind of sequence logo is uh, at each position is a frequency. So the frequency of A at the, the first position is 0 0.8. And the sum of these four nucleotide is one, right? Okay, this can only shows uh, how frequency how frequency one uh, amino, uh, nucleotide happen at a, for, at each position, right? But it it cannot convey the information uh, how uh, the info convey the information how conserved is this uh, uh, position, right? Because uh, uh, you you can see many of these uh, all these. Uh, uh, positions are equal to one. So another uh, way to convey this uh, information is called information content. So it's kind of like uh, a a uh, entropy information entropy. Okay, it's uh, uh, calculated by uh, frequency uh, multiplied by log frequency, right, and the sum of 
all the positions. So this is called, uh, we can normalize the uh, information content at each position use this, uh, uh, use this um, function. And uh, then we uh, normally it will add the maximum. So for the, for the, uh, for the four nucleotide uh, sequence, DNA sequence, the the largest uh, uh, information content is two. Okay, so that means uh, all the uh, all the nucleotide are randomly distributed uh, around the twenty five percent frequent uh, possibility possibility at each position. Okay, and if this uh, score is higher, that means uh, this position give more uh, information. Okay, so if uh, one, uh, if all the sequence have the specific nucleotide at this position, that means this is very conserved. So, it, so this uh, uh, inf con information content should be two. Okay, and uh, so let's uh, calculate it with this and uh, use a logo maker to make uh, this uh, uh, sequence logo and input the information content matrix so it can give this kind of uh, uh, sequence logo and you can see as uh, this first uh, three uh, position it's very high right so that means uh, its content information is high it convey more information and this three uh, position is more conserved you can see uh, this also this uh, uh, in this figure it shows uh, uh, the HTC are uh, how higher frequency okay and uh, at, for, at these positions, although they are uh, still uh, HCG, but they are uh, quite equal, equal to other, each other. That means it, uh, it conveys a little information about the conservation at this position. So you can see it's very small, almost no uh, beats. So this uh, kind of uh, information is uh, used, is used uh, as a beats. Okay, the information content. So another scenario I will tell you is, uh, as I mentioned uh, in in the uh, previously. Uh, so we have two groups of uh, sequence or sGNA sequence. One is of high of target effects. Another is of low of target effects. Uh, in this case, we need to calculate uh, the log odds ratio at each position. That means in high uh, in high uh, of target group, we uh, calculate its uh, uh, ratio. It, it's a uh, all its ratio uh, for each uh, uh, nucleotide at each position, and uh, do the odds. So divided by the low uh, frequency group then uh, use the logarithm of this uh, ratio to measure the uh, the preference pre the preference uh, for the specific nucleotide for it, for the high group if it's a uh, positive value and the low the negative value is for low uh, frequent and low uh, of target effects uh, group okay so I don't give the details of how we calculate the uh, log out ratio. I, I just uh, import uh, our data with this uh, table so you can find it in our folder. And this table shows at uh, position 20. So it's uh, uh, this is a position relative to the palm. So it's uh, the first position uh, at the SGNA for, uh, at the SGNA, of the SGNA, okay. So you can see the A. Uh, so no, th this is the last, uh, last uh, sequence uh, se position of the SGNA, and uh, it's uh, is more preferred to uh, A in a high of target group. You can see the local issue is high, and uh, in the first place is uh, more preferred the uh, uh, G, so it's uh, one, right? So we can use this. Uh, uh, Log all ratio uh, data frame as input to the log uh, local maker, and uh, it set its uh, figure size as this one, and uh, okay. So we can also set the uh, 
uh, x-axis label and y-axis label is uh, the y-axis is log odd ratio and uh, x-axis label is index relative to palm okay so this is the uh, first place to palm is also the 20 position in our data set okay you can see this uh, pattern so um also you can save uh, the high resolution uh figure use this uh command use this uh command okay plot save figure and dpi equals to 300 so this uh publication quality uh figures uh you can save it and you can find it in your working directory okay so i think the uh, that's for today's uh, uh, skill, mathematics skills sharing. I hope you find it helpful for your uh, study. And uh, you, you can first, if you haven't made any uh, projects that need you to uh, plot such sequence logo, you can use uh, my data to uh, practice and to see whether you can reproduce my result. And if you have uh, projects that you uh, you, if you happen to have projects that you need to plot su such uh, six logo, just use uh, uh, my use this package and try if you can uh, plot uh, these beautiful figures for your publication. Okay. Uh, if you find this uh, video helpful, uh, don't forget to uh, like the video and smash the subscribe and uh, uh, stay tuned for my uh, more updates. Uh, for the uh, sharing of the mathematics skills, tools, and uh, also the important uh, scientific papers. Okay. Uh, thank you. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.